So check this out guys, new project lawnmower. This is a 1970 Bradford Pinto mini mower, uh, five horsepower, basically a push lawnmower that you could ride. It has hard plastic tires, front and rear. Uh, it is mostly complete. I think it's been garage capped. The engine and the mower deck are obviously missing, but I have them right here. Uh, I don't have the blade, don't have the belt. It's missing a few other things. I think the brake caliper is gone. Um, but yeah, it's in really good shape for what it is for the year. There's very little rusting, just some nice patina on the hood. Um, light little specks of rust here and there, but generally speaking, this thing is solid. There's a few dents and dings, one being right there. Um, chain's still pretty good. Some of this stuff isn't attached anymore, but it's not a big deal. Um, transmission still shifts. It's a forward neutral reverse transmission, single speed, you know, chain drive to the rear axle. So the clutch pedal here, really simple clutch linkage. We built these things to last and to be very simple and easy to work on, unlike today's junk. Um, really thick metal. I really like this thing because it has the same exact hood and frame as my racing lawnmower that I built a couple years back. Check these spindles out. External bolt on. Very small. I mean, very small. That's my hand. It's got a really neat uh, horseshoe style uh, steering wheel. The throttle's right there. Um, still got all the writing. Perfectly legible. This thing was must have been garage kept. It's cushioned seat. I'm assuming it's the uh, steel seat pan underneath there with the holes in it. Yep, looks like it is. That's actually pretty rusty by the looks of it, but I do have another uh, seat pan that's pretty much mint. When I say it's small, I mean it's small. This thing comes up just above my knee. It is tiny. I mean, I don't even know what these weigh from the factory, but it can't be more than 150 pounds. Like I said, you're essentially riding a push mower. Tipped up here, you can see it's got the uh, C-channel frame that my racing mower had. Pretty much identical to the racing mower frame. It's got those old school bearings on both sides. They seem to still be pretty good with not a lot of play. Um, looks like a number 41 chain and sprocket. Uh, old uh, disc brake, but there's no caliper. You can see the uh, transmission input pulley and the little tiny clutch. So the engine comes through. Pretty simple. Tie rods definitely look like they've had a little custom work done at some point in their life, but otherwise it's just flat steel. No real major modification. Over here, the motor is the five horsepower Briggs and Stratton pull start. Pretty old school. Like I said, this is a 1970 as far as I know. I ran the uh, numbers, so I looked at the numbers on the side of the engine. Um, do have the mowing deck here, which is still actually in pretty good condition. I'm not going to be using that, obviously. But that's a look at the numbers. I think that comes up as a 1970. Correct me if I'm wrong. But from my research of these Pintos, I believe it is a 70. So I'm not going to 100% reveal what I'm going to do with this build yet, but I am going to do a build with it. I'm not going to restore it. Sorry for those of you who are fanatics that want to see me bring this thing back to its original luster. That is not what I do. I don't have time or patience to make things look perfect like that. However, I do like building things that are awesome. Uh, this is going to be the next awesome thing. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly what I'm going to do because I still have to do some research and some assessment and evaluating of what exactly it is that I want. I have a pretty good idea, but I'm not 100% dead set on any particular thing. But uh, let's just say this is going to be pretty great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to probably change the way people look at off-road lawnmowers. At least that's what I'm going for. We'll see. Um, but if you like the video, leave a like. It helps me out a lot. It brings a lot of attention to the channel and you know helps me grow and helps me do bigger, better things with something small. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. As always, you know, stay tuned for more build videos of this thing because this is going to happen real soon. Uh, I'm going to start gathering parts, doing teardowns and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're excited because I am. See you guys later.